Rikeda followed a black prostitute from his area on Instagram. Uh, and it's kind of weird with the, the the Nick shit because we he knows that we follow his Instagram. So a lot of I think that sometimes he just follows like random like black people drug dealers on Instagram to like f make people like gossip about it. But after he followed this black whore on Instagram, which was when people you know, really started cracking the shit about him, he had to immediately call off his stream. Uh, and like the same day and the first thing that anyone has any like word that he's canceling his stream is like, like 3 a.m. his time. So at 3 a.m. an emergency came up and he was no longer able to do his stream. And that was coincidentally the same night that, uh, it's posted on the Kiwi farms that he's following a black whore on, on Instagram. Um, he also had one of his lowest earning streams ever. And I want to say that was the sh the stream where uh oh it's the one where he was I don't know if it was the one where no it wasn't that one it was the one where he is like defending uh the the people like now there's been like two different people who have visited the headstone and I I, I still don't even know who exactly this person is the headstone is uh, this is apparently a really big deal. I said it was that it was um, Eric July's grandfather, which is where the name Isom comes from. Apparently it's his dad or some shit. I don't know who the fuck the head student belongs to. It's somebody in his family. They found it. And now people are taking guided tours to this gravestone in the middle of Texas so that they can um, either piss on or pretend to piss on or otherwise pose and try to intimidate or aggravate Eric July in the process of doing. And... Uh, Great grandfather. Okay, cool. Um, and it was in that that uh, video where he's defending people doing this that he earned sixty nine dollars after, um, for the entire stream. His streams are multiple hours long, so uh, I guess people in his audience are not responding well to him being a weird hypocrite in every way, shape, and form. Though he doesn't care because he's got. An up and up upcoming uh, new audience he's going to build by stand up comedy. He was in Tennessee, I want to say, um, with Riley. And here is a clip from Riley, who was Riley is apparently his stage manager. He does all the lighting and audio and shit for him, um, which is why it sounds like shit. But this is his stand-up audio. This is Nick Riccata transitioning into his new career because I guess YouTube streaming is not working out anymore. He wants to be a stand-up comedic. 45 seconds uh, teaser clip in case you want to go see the Nick Riccata live. I'm imposing on you. I understand. What? You're, you're cerebral. <laughs> TCF is the only place where black people have showed up less to pay their debts than their own families. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, but will you let me finish my racist joke? It's really my, like I'm trying to hide my own racism by blaming you people. Because look at you. Oh my God, it's like a fucking, uh, it's like a fucking Rosetta Stone of how to say white in here. Blanca, blanco, blanc, white, who white, uh, wigger. Oh, that was a hard R. Sorry, Riley. <laughs> Apparently, there's 30 minutes of this that's coming out. He's uh, mastering it now for mass distribution. So if you would like to see the 30-minute-long set of Nick Riccata, uh cracking racist jokes in front of an all-white audience in one of the whitest areas of Tennessee, I've been told, uh, at a bowling alley, nonetheless. Not to be confused with the, uh, the Killstream International, but just a different bowling alley in Tennessee. Uh, you can, you can, and will get to see that uh, if you choose not, if you choose to. Produced by Riley, um, Dick Masterson's friend, former producer, a uh, man who is a pimp, who calls himself a pimp for a retarded woman that he sells on the internet for for money. Uh, so that's what Nick's been up to. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.